Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be talking about megapixels. Now, what I'm talking in this video is applicable for all the cameras. Talk about mobile phones, DSLR, mirrorless. But in this video, I'm going to talk mostly about mobile phones because I've seen that mobile manufacturers advertise their megapixel count and people believe that higher the megapixels, better will be the camera. And that's the issue I'm going to address in this particular video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, let's talk about megapixels. So basically, megapixels means resolution. So suppose the resolution of the image is 4000 by 3000, then it is 12 million pixels, meaning 12 megapixel. If it is 8000 by 6000, then it is 48 megapixels. You get the idea, right? Higher the megapixels, more is the resolution. Now the question is, sort of, why do you need higher resolution? Good question. The answer to that is you get more details when you zoom in. So you can either crop out or you can print out in a larger size. But is more resolution the same thing as better image quality? No, that's the issue. That is just one side of the coin. But the other side of the coin is way more important. Now, when it comes to image quality, there are other factors you should consider. Like for example, colors. What kind of colors is the mobile able to produce in the images? How good is the dynamic range? How much highlights and shadows are preserved? How good is the low light performance? How good is the noise performance, especially in low light? Now, these are certain things which you have to consider in terms of image quality. Resolution is just one part. These all things are to be taken care if you are actually considering very serious image quality. So in terms of smartphone, let's talk about the hardware first. So you have a lens, you have a sensor, right? And the sensor in the mobile phones especially are very small. And if the sensor is small, doesn't matter if you have higher megapixels, the image quality is not going to improve by a lot. I will explain this in detail when I'm talking about low light performance. Let's talk about software. In terms of mobile phones, software is as important as the hardware. Because when you're taking the image, the raw image is captured. But the image processing software processes that image and then you see the JPEG file. So how good the image processing software is actually matters a lot. Now, Apple, Samsung, Pixel, they all have less megapixels. But why is the image quality so good? The answer is the software. The software is on point and that is why the images you see are so good in terms of colors and dynamic range. So just because you have less number of megapixels doesn't mean that you have bad image quality. Now I was talking about sensors before, right? That brings me to the main point of this video, that is low light performance. Recently I saw a video by Marcus Brownlee and there he compared the 108 megapixel phone with iPhone 11 that has 12 megapixels. And as you can see, the iPhone 11 with just 12 megapixels has way more details in low light. Now there is no rocket science. I'll explain you how it works. Suppose you are the sensor and I tell you to fill 12 boxes. You will do the work, right? But when I tell you to fill 108 boxes, you will get tired because that is out of your ability. Same happens with the sensor. The sensor is small, as I said before. Now you're forcing the sensor to handle 108 megapixels and it's not an easy task. Especially in low light performance, when the sensor has to push itself, when you're increasing the ISO, it becomes really difficult. And that is why the image quality degrades. That is why you don't get sharp details in low light. And in terms of smartphone photography, I believe low light photography is a huge deal, right? So just because you have more megapixels, if you think you're going to get better images, give it one more thought it can actually give you worse images than your lower megapixel mobile phones. So next time you're making a purchase decision, you have to take care of all the things. I'll repeat them for you. The colors, the dynamic range, the low light performance, and last, you should focus on the megapixels. The companies will try to make you fool, but you don't have to be fooled. I hope this video helped you guys and I have cleared your misunderstandings. And if that's the case, press the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want more such content. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.